Now, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure there are only two characters that I have not played as up to this point. And we're going to be playing as both of them today. So to start off, we're playing as the second best character in the game, Daisy. Daisy is actually the number two best character in the game, with only Funky Kong beating her. At least according to the hyper good players at this game. So, I honestly can't remember what vehicles I've been in and which ones I haven't. So, I'll try the Wild Wing. I, can't, I truly can't remember if I played in this one already, but regardless, we still have a bunch of cups left, so we're going to be playing in duplicate vehicles throughout a lot of these. Alright, it looks like today we are off to the Shine Sprite Cup. And we've got GBA Bowser Castle 1, uh, Aura Metropolis, Crash Team Racing Blizzard Bluff, and Aquania. Or <laughs> Aquania? I don't know how you pronounce that one. Alright, so I got two familiar races here. We'll start off with one of the shortest races, GBA Bowser Castle 1. This one is... This one's a very small course. Also, there's a thunderstorm going on outside, so I apologize if you're hearing the claps of thunder. But if it's storming out, there's not a whole lot I can do but stay inside. Alright, Daisy Wildwing. Please tell me we get the great GBA Bowser Castle music. Good. One of my all-time favorite uh, music tracks in Mario Kart. So this is basically just a smaller version of Bowser Castle 3, which is a normal Mario Kart Wii course. This one was also brought back in Mario Kart 7, you know, that game that, like, hardly anybody played. So yeah, as you can already see, uh, we're, we're done with lap 1. Well, Daisy's as good as always. Each character has different, uh, stat fluctuations. And Daisy, I think, is maxed out at speed. And maybe mini turbos? So she just goes crazy fast. She's basically the medium guy equivalent to Funky Kong. Where it's like all about that speed. And as you can see, we've got a big breakaway. But I'm waiting for the blue shell to rain on my parade. Still a red shell one first. That's pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Also have no idea how people do the low tricks on these jumps. Where they trick and hit the ground pretty much immediately. Yoink! Wow, that was really easy. GBA Bowser Castle 1 is a super short. Wow. Yeah. We were seven seconds ahead of the second placer. That's pretty impressive. I like the GBA Bowser Castles. They're a bit square, but I love the music on them. And they've got a cool atmosphere. All right, so next we've got Aura Metropolis. Okay. This is, oh, uh, wow. Okay, um, there's a tower in the way of the camera right there. It's like a really fancy downtown street at like 1 a.m. with all the neon lights lit up. Okay, I'm digging the atmosphere. Why is the camera weird? Oh my gosh, that is a complicated minimap. Oh boy. Oh, the storm's picking up outside. Oh my gosh, what is this level? Oh shoot, I almost fell. Okay, again, I, I like being able to see where I'm going. Oh boy, it's the little shell lasers from everyone's favorite course, Koopa Cape. I'm not a Koopa Cape hater, I just think it's overrated. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna call foul on this course. It is really, really hard to see where the road ends and the pits begin because the road is are you serious wow and lakitu brought me all the way back here all right you made the road the same color pretty much as the background that's a no-no like look at that how that didn't look like there was anything there but apparently there was a pit Also, I'm not a huge fan of the sideways roads. Cool idea, but maybe make the roads stand out a bit more. 
especially the sides of the like right here we can see clearly right here that there are lights on the side of the road but like right there there's a boost panel to the side that's like a really weird turn that you can't see until it's too late and like up here you can't really see i know that there's a highlight on the edge of the road but i can't see it because you've tilted the track and this part there's no highlights And because you make all these really weird turns, it can be very hard to uh, go the correct way. Oh my gosh, I'm like right there! How are we supposed to know there was like the edge of the road over there? Here's Wally, Ouija. Oh, and the off-roader too! Oh, what?! Apparently there were wheels on the side of my car that were perpendicular to the way they were supposed to go. Draft boost! Okay, so this, this course isn't quite up to snuff with the last uh, few cups, but that's okay. You got, you got some cool ideas for this course. I like the setting. I'm just not a huge fan of the execution, necessarily. Oh, hey. I don't even dare try to find an off-road shortcut to take, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to just end up driving off a cliff. Mushroom. Okay, we did not hit the mushroom. Woo -hoo! Dodge that ball. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, Bowser's still a decent bit behind, so we have a little time to get our bearings. That was a time where outside drift actually came in clutch, because it allowed us to dodge that banana peel. All right, all right! First place. All right, Daisy, let's keep the attitude at home. Wow, Bowser won second, and he had very few points, so he must have done really poorly in the first race. All right, so we've got a nice breakaway lead. This is pretty cool. So now we're off to Blizzard Bluff, Is the, was it the name? It's a Crash Team Racing course. Yeah, Blizzard Bluff. Crash Team Racing was a fun game. And so we've already played on Cortex Castle. This one should be quite a bit easier. Cortex Castle is one of the later stages with crazy turns. This one is more just ice physics. I hope they didn't put the ice physics in on this track, but they probably did. Very simple shape, though. Thus far, no ice physics. I like what I see so far. Oh, wow. Okay, that one... See, that's not nice just constantly hitting me. Okay. I'm noticing Wild Wing seems to have multiple pairs of tires. Oh, now the ice fix is coming in. I'm noticing Wild Wing has like multiple pairs of tires. With the one, there's the main pair that allows you to control the car normally. But then when you go over a jump and then land, there's like a second pair of wheels on the bottom of your car that you can't see that are perpendicular and will just rocket you sideways. I, didn't know, I don't know why I was holding on to that. Could have gotten an even bigger lead if I had used it immediately, but oh well. Yikes. Wow, okay. These turns are randomly really tight. There's not a shortage of snow. Did that red shell just come to a freezing halt to hit dry bones? All right, Daisy. Uh, Keep your dress on, all right? It's not worth getting that excited about. Like, right there, there's no way for me to take that turn. What the heck, green shells? Get out of my way. 
should be illegal for your own green shells to hit you. Oh yeah, try it, Bowser. Hope you have, like, three more of those. I actually don't hope that. That would be terrible if you did. Yoink! Alright, another victory! That was a fun one, except for the turns at the beginning, which you... Maybe it's just my vehicle, but I, I was not able to take those turns. I always slammed into the wall, or went off-road. Oh well, not too big of a deal. Now we've got Aqu Aquania. Aquania? I, I don't know. The Aqualand. So I like the ripple effect, and it really makes you feel like you're underwater. That's pretty cool. I like the underwater city vibe that we're getting. Oh yuck, that that U-turn on the far right side of the minimap looks like it's gonna be horrible in the wild wing. Never mind, it's not. It's hard to tell how big the map is based on the minimap, because sometimes you'll get it like this where it's like, oh the the, the minimap is pretty sizable for what it looks oh my gosh. You better be paying attention to that minimap, or you're not going to make it these turns in time. Like, if you do the trick jump off of the, those ramps, you are screwed. Oh, that was hard to see the crack in the road as well. I like I like the theming, though. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know why that was acted like a DK cannon, but okay then. Oh, that stinks. Bowser, you really don't want to be there. Waluigi, you really don't want to be there. I was mashing the avoid pal block button. I don't know how it didn't trigger. How am I getting inked by a blooper for underwater? Oh, why is the ink sticking to my windshield, I guess, is the better question. Ooh I actually don't think that bomb box will really do anything, because I think they'll just hit the cannon and rock it up anyways. Good for them. Really like the theming of this course, though. Some of the textures, like for the buildings, probably could be a little bit better, but hey, I'm being nitpicky. Honestly, the only thing I would really change about this level is uh, give us a, some more warning that the turns are coming so we know not to do a trick on the top of these, other than just being like, you better look at the minimap. And I would also not have the crack in the side of the road up here. Because you really can't tell it's coming until it's too late. How come nobody hit my fake power up? My bomb box. Well, there we go. Perfect victory on every map. It's definitely not just because we're Daisy. In one of the high tier uh, carts. Still, though, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. We get first place. And we get a star. Nice. Now, at the start of the video, I mentioned that there were two characters I had not been yet in this game. Now, you who have watched every video up to this point, you might be scratching your head wondering, wait, wait, wait which character have you not played as? Well, it's simple. I haven't played as Me Outfit 2 with the Mario overall, so we're playing as the Count, dressed as Mario. And we're another uh, medium guy. I think the only medium bike we have not been on at this point is the standard bike medium. Let's give it, let's take it for a little spin, shall we? <laughs> Count, you look very weird, but all right then. All right, we are now on the Gray Leaf Cup. Hey guys, this is Artie from the future breaking through the fabric of the time-space continuum to let you know that I have no idea why I just skipped the Yoshi Egg Cup 
it was clearly the next cup to play out of them, but for some reason, I guess I just had a massive brain fart and just completely skipped to the next cup. I have literally no idea how that happened. And by extension, this also means I'm skip the Birdo Egg Cup in the next video. I'm just going to let you know that I have not forgotten about these two, and I will play both of these two videos from now. But yeah, I just wanted to give you that as a heads up in case you're wondering why I decided to skip it. I'm just as in the dark as you. Anyways, back to present, Artie. This is different from the regular Leaf Cup. Gray Leaf Cup, we've got Warp Pipe Island, Abandoned Boardwalk, Gothic Castle, and DK Ruins. I know DK Ruins, that's DK Jungle from the 3DS game. Again, very stupid that they don't just say 3DS DK Jungle, but whatever. The rest sound interesting. Warp Pipe Island is probably gonna be like a Mega Koopa Cape. Oh wait, actually is this... No, I don't think it is. I think I've already played. Oh, well this looks nice. I like the free warp pipes that are spitting into the big one. That's cool. Like the waterfalls. All right, all right. This looks pretty nice. I'm excited for this one. It'll give me a chance to tr take the standard bike for a spin because I have not been on this one in quite a while. Oh yeah, very simple map. I like this so I get a chance to get an idea of how this bike is gonna handle. All right, it's very lightweight. Like, wow. Okay, very outside drift, Mike. But that's fine. I can handle outside drift. All right, all right. I like the red pipe. We got the Koopa Cape lasers yet again. That was nearly a bad thing. Okay, uh, if a blooper's on, I. The only time blooper is actually potentially dangerous is if he appears on a course that you are not familiar with. Oh, there's even a sign for Warp Pipe Island. There's the detail in the... Oh, wow. Oh, this is trippy. It's like a giant yellow warp pipe that's transparent on the inside. And then this is the green pipe that takes us back to the start. Oh, wow. That was some weird physics. All right. All right. I, I dig this course. This is a fun one. It's, it's simple, but good. It's well-themed. And there's still... They did enough with the scenery, so like with the driving through pipes, that it keeps you interested for the whole race. This is great! I, I think this is a home run. Okay, I think the worst part about this track is that I'm in the standard bike. I'm not enjoying the standard bike. Okay, so I did... I should have known that that was water that you could just drive through. I don't know why, but on the first lap, I'm like, that's ice! It's a wall if I hit it. It's like, no, no it's not. There's also a lot of power-ups in the line here. What hit me? Was that the ice, or was that somebody throwing like a shell at me that just didn't appear on screen for some reason? I don't know, but... Oh, come on! I was about to give Baby Peach my vengeance. Baby Peach is in the cheap charger. I know I'm in a bike, but it doesn't matter. I can still knock her around. Cheap Charger is like the lightest, second lightest. It's not the lightest vehicle. Obviously, the lightest vehicle is the Quacker. Move it. But I think it's the lightest card in the game. It's that or like the booster seat. All right, that was a fun one. I definitely enjoyed that course. That really felt like a proper Mario Kart course. Like, that definitely felt like it was a course that you could see in the next Mario Kart game. Like, in the year 2051, when they released Mario Kart 9, that could be, like, the first course in the Flower Cup or something. I mean, the second course. The first course is obviously Mario Circuit. Abandoned Boardwalk. Okay, I'm excited for this one because this could be like Broken Pier, which is like one of my favorite courses ever. It kind of looks like Broken Pier meets Banshee Boardwalk. Meets Haunted Boardwalk from Pac-Man World 2. Oh, look at how complex that mini-map is. Oh, I'm excited. I'll have to pump in some proper music here because I don't like the Ghost Valley music and it's quiet enough that I can put my own music over it. 
generally. Oh! Oh ho! The wall was like rubber and it bounced me forwards. Okay, this is a big turn. Big boy turn. I guess you could also call it a helix. Oh, I love the cobwebs! Oh, this course is amazing. This ruin- oh, dude. Oh, okay! <laughs> the count was on, like, a quarter of a tire and still stayed on. Man, the count is a real one. It's because uh, it's a spooky course. The count is used to spooky. He lives in the count's castle. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we're going in the water. Oh, dude, this course is amazing. I... I all fully admit I have a bias towards the spooky courses. I definitely like the spooky Mario Kart courses. I like the aesthetic. I like the theming. So I'm, I'm a big, big fan of this one. This this is cool. This is a fantastic course. I love this. They went all out with it. Oh, my dude, the power boxes have, like, bat eyes out of it. Oh, dude! Okay, I don't know if that's intentional or not, or if it's just my bike and weight combination, but... Hitting that wall gives me a boost forwards. That is made of rubber. This is great, dude. Oh, I love this course. It's like an easier version of Broken Pier. Okay, I remember this one. There were even arrows telling me to go, so that was on me almost falling off that first lap because there were arrows. <laughs> I love the creepy flops in the back, dude. Like, there's so much detail here, like. You got a creepy church with a flickering light. You've got the flops without eyes. You got booze hovering around. I like how you just go into the lake for a little bit, see those fish bones, and then go, oh, this. Gosh, they nailed this course. So good. You drive through the cemetery just enough so it's not boring. Like if the whole course were just driving through the cemetery, it would be kind of lame. But they also. It's not just on the boardwalk, it's not just in the cemetery, it's not just- Oh, okay, that is- That's bad. Yes, Lakitu, I know. Wow, I had such a breakaway that I somehow still- Nope, never mind, not anymore. Man, you gotta be aim center up for that if you wanna get forward. That didn't make any sense. If you wanna actually land on the boardwalk, you've gotta be, like, positioned and aiming in the center of the jump. Oh, is, the, is Bowser Jr. on the Sneakster? I was Bowser Jr. on the Sneakster. It's like, I don't think it's his personal bike, but it fits his personality. Uh, let's go on the right this time. Go, go! I wish you could customize what the Mii sounds were like, so I could give him the Count's voice clips. But in actuality, I would love to play as Bully McGuire with Bully McGuire quotes. <laughs> like, whenever you pass someone, it's like, See ya, chump! Whenever you hit somebody, good cry. Whenever you fire a power up, now dig on this. <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite course in CTGB that I played in a long while. Fantastic. I love that stage. Whoever designed that stage, I would like to shake your hand. Because I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Ooh, I'm going to remember this. This is fantastic. Such a good balance of the different settings of, like, the haunted... Creepy Boardwalk Cemetery. It, mm, so good. And very fair, too. Now we've got the Gothic Castle <laughs> with Renaissance paintings on the ceiling. Is that the Sistine Chapel? You've got the moon. Oh, dude, the wolf. The wolf who had his own uh, castle grounds now has his own formal Gothic castle. Oh, dude. I'm so glad Wolfie is expanding in the realm of real estate. Oh, we get Wee Bowser Castles moving. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is going to plummet me right into it? It didn't. I was fully expecting it to be... Oh, shoot, you need a mushroom to take that gap. Okay. I'm liking this course so far. The Royal Carpet. You've got a different... Different? It's like, this is like a redstone castle and not like a, oh, we made this out of concrete, which I appreciate. I'm gonna go up top. Top route is best route. Oh my gosh! What are these turns? Uh, a 
apparently you can drive through that. Yikes! What is this? Um, <laughs> okay, I have no idea how I made it through that unscathed. I'll touch. I'll touch a little off road. I'm fine with that. Wow. Okay, the count has the count has experience with creepy stuff in castles, so naturally he's doing well. There's so many different ways to go, and I mean like it's cool. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was so cool. Now we got blue bricks. Oh, I don't, I don't trust touching those walls. They look like they're made of lava. It's probably okay. It's probably just they're lava adjacent. Man, Bowser Jr., how are you right behind me? I feel like I've been crushing it on this course. Not for my own skill, just through bucking my way into things, but... Okay, wow. That... This is a course. Oh, there's only two laps. I guess that makes sense. That was a pretty long lap. Alright, I'm gonna try to go the ways I didn't go last time, so... Okay, so this is just, like, you do a little bit of a loop around, but then you go in the same place. Alright, alright. I guess that makes sense. That's what you was right on my butt. He needs to back off. Okay, I love the first lap. Uh... I do think some of these turns are a little bit unfair, but... Okay, we went top route last time. This time we go on the bottom. We get a little bit more of an advanced warning on the turns. Which is nice. Okay, ouch. Now we go through here. We take this crazy path down of all of these tight turns. Okay, so we went to the left on the first lap, so on this lap... Oh, I hit the same off-road section, because I think the turn is going to be tighter. But it's not. Yeah, so at the fork in the road, we went left last lap, so we're going to go to the right this time. It just leads to a pit. Okay. So we go down here with the lava stones. Oh, now I have a breakaway. Bowser Jr. must have fallen off or something. Okay, I'm gonna regret doing this! North Pole, here we come! <laughs> okay, I don't, I'm not going over the boost ramp now. That's fine. I'm fine hitting the banana peel. That slowed me down a little bit. Oh, wow. That was like a fire thwomp. That was crazy. Alright, you know what? That course was actually awesome. There were a couple of really tight turns, but, like, if we're assuming this is, like, a late game, like, this would be, like, a special cup level, kind of like a Bowser Castle, I think that's fine, honestly. It's a little bit tricky on the, your first attempt, but I was in a big outside drift bike, and I still had there didn't have a lot of trouble. I had some close calls, but that was really fun. That was, that was a well-designed level. Man, this cup has kicked butt thus far. I only hope the last level continues it. What was the last level again? I already forget. Was it even a repeat? Oh, that's right. It's DK DK Ruins. 3DS DK Jungle. I mean, I like 3DS DK Jungle. Casual fan of it, so this one should probably go off without a hitch. This will probably end up being the weakest uh, out of the circuit, though. And again, I like this course. That just goes to show you how, great, how much I love the other free. Wait, we don't seem to be in the haunted castle anymore. No count, we're not. Going to the jungle. Okay, well, I see they haven't uh, made the path any bit. Okay, um, you know, I, that actually makes sense. I don't know why I was expecting that thin little bit of grass to act as a complete wall. Wow, did literally like eight racers all fall off at the same part? Oh, uh, I think like. I think eight CPUs and me all fell off of that part. I am the count, I come in peace. I come to count my place. I hope I only have to count once. I don't want to count on more than one finger if uh, for my ranking. Oh, well, it is fitting that DK is uh, my main competition on his jungle. Some of these turns are pretty tight for Mario Kart Wii, but that's okay. 
If you're the only one here, and you're not fighting with 11 other players, it's fine. It's just that first lap where things get tricky. Hey, Tiki's. Man, after Donkey Kong Country Returns, like, Nintendo went ham with the Tiki's for a while. They're like, dude, the Tiki's are, like, the best DK antagonists. And then everyone's like, um, no, they're actually kind of, like, the worst by far. And Nintendo's like, oh, but we already made, like, a bunch of stuff relating to the Tiki's. Well, I guess you didn't know. I guess you couldn't predict that. You'll still never top the Kremlin crew, but the uh, Northern invaders from Tropical Freeze were all right, I guess. But, like, K. Rule is the king, and the captain, and the baron, and the heavyweight boxing champion, and the world class opera singer. K. Rule is just one of the best villains, man. I guess, I, I think it's kind of cool that they took DK Jungle and made it Sunset. Like, that's a cool change. Oh, and the frogs are here, too. Oh. Darn it. I was kind of hoping that I would hit the mushroom at the right time and dodge the blue shell, but no such luck. If you mushroom at exactly the right point right before the blue shell hits you, you can actually dodge the explosion. It's really tricky to do, but it can't. But it can be done. How did I? Wait, what? Why did I not lose my power up? I was not in midair. Oh, what is? It's okay. The Count destroyed that circuit. Good job, Count. I gotta say, Count is my secret, uh... That's, he's my ace up the sleeve for Mario Kart. Anytime I play as the Count, I tend to dominate. So I don't pull him out for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online very much. Unless I really need a win. Usually for battle mode. Alright, did we get a perfect score on both cups? We did, we got a one... How did you only give me a one-star ranking, brah? I did great. I guess I went off-road a decent bit. That, that's probably why. But there you go. That's going to do it for this episode of Mario Kart Wii CTGP. This was an awesome episode. Honestly, like, I loved these courses. I, I've been loving the courses that I've done in, like, kind of phase two of CTGP. So... Maybe they kind of had a lot of the bad courses in the first part. I'm, but I'm, I've been thoroughly impressed by what I've been playing. This has been, so, this is so fun. This is really, really good. Like, they're definitely picking up their A game, and at least the way they organized the, the races in the cups. Like, these are, these are fantastic. These are top quality races. So, yeah, great job. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you tune in next time. Where, at this point, we've played as every character, so I'll just play as who I like. But I'll still try to play as pretty much every vehicle, if I can. So, probably a lot of carts in our future. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.